That's just the type of person he is. He always wants more and he's always pushing us. I try not to think that far ahead. I just play the game and it would be really extra special if we could get the Champions League. Silver's ball deflected across and Foden nips in! That is what champions do! Obviously I'm confident in myself and believe in myself but um, I try not to think that far ahead. I just play the game and and that's it really. I just take game by game and want to be the best player in that and, and yeah, see where it takes me. From making his debut in a friendly against Manchester United in 2017 to today, Phil has come a long way. And his teammate on that day, Sergio Aguero, has always been a fan, as seen on his post-match interview on that day in Houston, Texas. We've been watching you in training. You seem to get on very well with Aguero. Has he been taking you under his wing? Yeah, he's a great guy. Obviously, you want to learn from players like that, so it's good to get close to players like that. Well done, well done, Phil. Thank you. He says he loves you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. OK. <laughs> Me too, I love you. <laughs> In a Q&A session on Twitter, Aguero told the world that Phil Foden is his favourite player right now. Big praise from a man he used to idolise himself. When I seen that, I couldn't really believe um, he said that. Obviously, being a ball boy and growing up, um, watching him play and then actually getting to play with him, so for him to say that is extra special. It's true that Phil had the fairy tale journey of once being a ball boy at a Manchester City game, to now becoming a first team starter at the club. Yeah, sometimes they say to me, like, how, how have you done it? Um, but yeah, like when I was younger, I kept my head down and always believed um, that I could play at Man City. And yeah, I'm just happy that it paid off. Foden played for City at every age level from 11 onwards, always getting the attention of coaches and fans who watched the talented youngster from the side of the pitch. Yeah, obviously it was a dream come true. Um, just going through the academy at every age group and staying at City for so long, um, I don't think many players have actually done that. Um, so yeah, it's extra special for me to obviously wear the City shirt and, and, and play with the fans behind me, so it's extra special. And the veteran Yaya Toure makes way for a star of the future, Phil Foden. Phil would have been destined for greatness playing under any manager, but being lucky enough to play under Pep Guardiola, Foden has undoubtedly become the very best version of himself that he can be. Sit down! Nobody talk! Sit down! I'm not good. I'm not good enough. I know that. Don't make faces. It's only the one in my team. I try to do my best. It's over. In a few years, you can be a manager and you can do it. No problem. But until now, guys, I am the boss and I decide. Don't make my faces, guys. Now in the future. <laughs> Very crazy. He's obsessed with football. Um, he always pushes us every day. And yeah, that's just sound. That's just the type of person he is. He always wants more and he's always pushing us. I would say that um, uh, Phil is a player, can play in different, in different positions, but especially up front, because he has this quality for the first control, for the speed, for the pace, for the vision, for the sense of goal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can just never know um, with the manager what he's going to do. He's always mixing it up always um, changing people's positions, but um, like I said before, people even on the bench coming on can make a good impact. Um, yeah, and, and everyone plays all year round, so everyone has to be ready um, and the team can change at any time. You know, he always um, has ideas and it always seems to work, so um, we always believe in that and, and try and take it onto the pitch. As the youngest ever winner of the Premier League, with three now in total to his name, as well as a FA Cup, two Community Shields and four League Cups, Phil has achieved so much at just 21 years old. Of course, the one title that eludes both him and his teammates is the Champions League, after falling at the final hurdle in Porto last season. Obviously, it's the one that we dream, dream about, the one that we want, but... Um... 
even winning the Premier League so big, how many times we've done it in the last couple of years. So, um, and obviously all the cups we've won as well. But yeah, it would be really extra special if we could get the Champions League. But if not, I still believe that um, we've been so successful in the last few years. Look how shiny it is. Get it up close, look. Last thing, Phil. Is it true you have a dog called Carabao? Yeah. Yeah, after Why? I won. Yeah, after I won it, so I got a, I got a dog just after the final, um, and I just decided to call. Is it, it going to have puppies that we can call World Cup? <laughs> no, it's not having puppies. No, no chance. <laughs> Will you ever name a dog World Cup? Because we're going to win it. <laughs> if we get there and win it, yeah, definitely.